Good, it's not good morning. I was about to say good morning. Hi, you guys. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, I am Sunshine. This is the IBQ method for solving Rubik's cubes. Let's see who we've got here today. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Um, this is the ABQ method for solving Rubik's cubes. Works on every complexity Rubik's cubes. You got four moves and you've got eight moves. Four moves is one row, one column. Eight moves is top row and two columns. And with that, you can solve every complexity Rubik's cube, every complexity um, minx. Formula A brings a piece to the top. Formula B moves three pieces around. And that's all you ever need to do. This week I've been doing, I've, I've broken down the minx, the meg, mega minx into stages and it's Friday evening so I want to do the last, want to get the last stage done. Uh, this one, you'll see, I've got, uh, I go where, I go, there's an order of operations for the minx. You have to go, go star parts before the non-star parts and I deliberately did not do that so that I could have a demonstration of how to do the last layer, including the non including the star parts. Uh, generally, I do do the star parts first and then the non-star parts. I will do the centers first and then go layer by layer. And so this one, we've done the whites, the bolds, and up to the gray side star bit, star tip. Okay, so this one's done, this one's done, this one is done. And this one has a couple more. Nope, that's also done. Okay, good. This is my control cube, my control minx. To, it, it, yeah, I, with this, I can demonstrate what the, what the things do. Um, school bus is back. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you for the follow this morning. I appreciate it. All right, so um, you can pretty much, if you can solve the cube, you can pretty much into into it uh, most of the minx. But uh, the last layer uh, is can be confusing because the last layer, uh, because the last layer involves the star parts. The star parts are. I don't know about other methods. I only know mine. So let me just talk specifically about the EBQ method. <clears throat> uh, formula A is used to bring a piece to the top and to twist the corners around. So I'll be doing some of that after they're in place. Formula B, formula A works like this. Uh, Bottom row, oops, over. Bottom row, right column, out, down, in, up. Okay, so it switches these two. Also switches these two and works on the edges here. Uh, twice puts it back where it was, but twists it. So formula A can be used to twist pieces or twist corners around. If that's how I want it, I would slide it out of the way and continue on another piece that wants to be twisted. And so a set of six gets you back to zero. So, <clears throat> with this last layer to be done, uh, I mentioned the uh, I'm going to do the star parts before I do the non-star parts. Now, when you get to this point, the number of stars, the number of stars with gray on the gray face, is going to be an odd number. It's either going to be one or three or five. Uh, this one has three. This one has three. This one has three. This one has three. Okay. But um, the first, the first thing I care about is not bringing the gray color to the top. The first thing I care about is going to putting the, everything in the right position. Uh, when will we go on to cubes? Whenever you want to. Do you have a cube question? I will follow any questions that come my way. Okay. All right. And so I'll come back to this because. School bus wants to learn about cubes. Okay. Uh, when I teach the cubes, and this works on every complexity cubes. When I teach the cubes, I teach the five, the four, the three, and the two all at the same time because they can all be done the exact same way. Again, with formula A and formula B. Formula A brings a piece to the top and also twists the corners. And formula B does everything else. Specifically, what that means is formula B will move three pieces around. <clears throat> to demonstrate uh, formula A, um, if it's if it's you hold the cube and you look at the front of the cube as if it's a spreadsheet with rows and columns, and if you look at as you look at the formulas, uh, the arrow represents the single slice you're going to be moving, and the line represents uh, the rest of the cube that's going to be stable. So. 
um, one row, one column for formula A, one row, two columns for formula B. Uh, if formula A can be used for the entire first face, but formula A affects all six sides at the same time when you do that, so it can only be used on the first face, not the, the remaining five. <clears throat> but uh, to demonstrate what that does, uh, bottom if it's bottom row and right column, you'll notice that every that it's a mathematical zero. These are commutators. So for every left, there's a right. For every up, there's a down. So it's only effect, only moving the pieces that you choose to move. Uh, when I was <laughs> when I was learning, um, and I learned, of course, I learned by algorithms. Uh, you have to not only do you have to memorize the algorithms, but you have to memorize which algorithm does which things and in which order you want to do the algorithm, so that you're not messing up things that have gone before. With A and B, you're only affecting the pieces that you want to be affecting. So it doesn't matter whether it's the first move you're making or the last move you're making. Uh, it's going to be the same. So uh, middle row and middle column gives you what we call boxes. Okay, uh, and it, it it affects the absolute center as well one single piece. So when it moves it, it moves everything. Uh, again, so to move this piece up to here, move the, move the piece away, move the space down, move the piece into the space, and the piece in the space back up. Now the three that are that are the three colors that are switching is the top front and right. Uh, once more, we'll put it back to salt to scramp to salt. So to move this piece, I, I, this piece is going to move up. So I move it away, I move the space down, cube into the space, and the cube in the space back up again. So that's what happens that you can do that for any of the any of the faces <coughs> on the first face. Uh, but for the it's, I, for the corners, it's the bottom row on the right column. So this is where the action is taking place. So I move this corner away, I move the space down, I move the corner into the space, and the cube in the space back up again. And the, it, like I said, this these two switch, as does other things. And then when I do it again, they switch back, but they've twisted. Okay. So if you want to twist things, formula A is how to do it. And when you go back, um, method of six, or if nothing, nothing's changed except for the top row if you wanted to. So that's what formula B does on the, on formula A and B does on the corners. Uh, for the centers, if you, if, if you, but uh, you can change which two columns you're working on. If you, if you want to move, for instance, this edge piece, then I need to determine, first of all, I have the corners matching the front, I need to determine which way it's going. And it's going to be the top row and two columns. The two columns are going to be where it's going to land and where it begins. So slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down, and that moves, like I said, three corners. <laughs> and then up, up, down, and down, and then three times to get you back to solve. So again, you want the corners to match the front, determine its direction, slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Um, and if, as you go into larger cubes, if you do the columns, the if the if the two columns you're using are the two inner columns, then you follow, you pick up a piece that you want to move and you follow that piece to, to determine, the cube will dictate what your two columns are. So we've got up, slide to a different column, Second up, reverse down, reverse down, and set the top. Now it looks like I've it looks like I've I've swapped two pieces, but you never swap two pieces. You're always swapping three pieces. The two of the pieces were orange, so I couldn't tell the difference. But uh, to demonstrate, to move this white piece to the top, and to bring this orange piece down. You will note that this orange, first I line it up, you'll note that this orange piece isn't going to land here, it's going to land over here. So we go up, slide up, reverse, down, reverse, down. And so formula B works on corners, edges, and centers. Okay, so uh, school bus, you said you had some cube questions. What would you like, what are your questions for the cube? Uh, would you have, <laughs> uh, I am also set up to do, uh, teach in, uh, in real time, 
I have a Zoom class set up and I can teach up to up to four people at a time uh, in real time. So uh, just let me know ahead of time and I will give you the link to my path to my means. Okay, so you want to work on your two by two. Okay. Uh, the two by two only has corners. Uh, the next step up would be the three by three because so so because every cube, all of your cubes have uh, the eight corners. And so we're going to, st so we start with the two by two is the simplest one. So that's all the, cor all that we have is corners. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to do corners. So, um, do you have any questions for me? Because uh, other than that, I've done an overview and um, I'm happy, I'm, I, I, we can talk about parodies if you like, because you'll notice that these, this doesn't address a parody. But parodies are, parodies are, okay, what are your questions? If you have any questions, I'm happy to demonstrate it and answer. What algorithms? I do not use algorithms. I use, for, I use formula A, which is four moves. I use formula B, which is eight moves. On the cube, uh, that looks like, um, so uh, you hold the cube and you look at the front of the face as if it is a spreadsheet with rows and columns and the arrow represents uh, A is the upside down of sexy move uh, A is the bottom row right column or the middle row middle column but you can also do the entire first face with A so it's used to bring a piece to the top and to twist corners around is what formula A is used for this is that's what it looks like on the cube. On a minx, it looks like this. Uh, bottom. This is this is this is my, the bro I'm using. This is the column I'm using. Out, down, in, up. Out, down, in, up. Okay, and the twisted the corner. If I wanted it to be twisted, I'll move it out of the way to protect it, and I'll continue my six set with another piece that I don't mind if it if it move, if it twists because you can never twist just one corner. And in sets of six, the rest of the cube is untouched and reset the top. So if you have two corners to switch um, that are in the right place but they need to, need to be twisted, they will be twisted in opposite directions. If there's three that need to be twisted, they'll all be twisted in the same direction just because of the nature of how the cube, the mathematics of the cube. So that's formula A. Uh, formula B is the same. Okay, this one's correct. I'm going to slide it out of the way. Continue with this one. Okay, formula A uh, for the outside, it moves these three corners around. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Let's do it again so you can see what it's doing. Down, down. Once more will be correct and so you can see that this piece is going to move here, this piece is going to move here, and this piece is going to move here. So these are staying in, in connection with each other, so it has the effect of swapping these two, but you can never swap two. You're only always moving three around. So that's what, what formula B looks like on the mink, on the cube, on the minx. It looks similar. Let's put the blue on the front, why not? Okay. Top row outside columns. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. And again, up, up, down, down. And we have three corners that have moved. So on the cube, it looks like this. On the minx, it looks like this. So these will all move clockwise. This one will move over there. You are confused. OK. All right. Um, So that's what formula B does. It has the corners, it moves these three and these three. Uh, once more to put them back to where they were. Again, top row, outside columns. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. And they are back where they belong. Once again, 
this column is going to go over here, so that's why these are the two columns I'm using. This cube is going to go over here. Slide first up, reverse second up, slide down, reverse down. So formula A is move to bring a piece to the top and to bring it and specifically corners and to twist the corners. Formula B move three pieces around. What's my favorite cube? Uh, my main cubes. On the Minx is my uh, Giga Minx, the 5x, and with cubes, it's the 7x, the mini 7x. So this is about the same, about the size, about this little bit larger than a 5x5 that's not, that's standard sized. Uh, my 5 is also a mini, so it's about the same size as the 3x3. Three three. I prefer the minis because I have small hands. So. Um, that's, those are not really questions. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish my minxes. We're doing the last layer, and or the last several layers if it's on the Giga Minx. Uh, do I go to comps? Not yet. But I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, so. Last layer. Like I said, oh, this one's my control. Okay, so the last layer. And like I said, uh, some of them, at least one of them will be gray face up. And so I'm going to line up one of the gray pieces and see how I can get the most in the right place at, at a time before I start. So if I line up the green, uh, the green and the blue are both correct, but they're not side by side, so it doesn't help me. If I line up the yellow, um, it's just the yellow. If I line up the orange, It is the orange and pink, but it really doesn't help me. So I'll start with the orange. Do I have a GAN? Yes, I do have a GAN. I love the magnet. Okay, so this one is correct, and I'm going to be working with just the, the star tips. So um, I'm looking for the green. I'm going around it. I'm going around in order. Uh, so this one's correct. I'm, the green one is over here. So these three cubes are, are the ones that move in uh, formula B. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so formula B going to, to, to the right. Uh, this piece is going to come down, away, up, in, up, away, down, in, down. And do it again just so you can see what happened. Away, up, in, up away down in down okay so um, the, the corners moved because there's always ancillary movement when you're working with the star pieces but the three star pieces that moved were these three if I do it this way it's these three so those are the three that are going to move so I'm looking here my orange is the same my green is here and wants to come forward so I, these three are the ones that are going to move and so since this is the one one since since uh this one's set and this one's not, I'm going to offset my pink so that I can use three unset pieces in order to move my green forward. So away, up, in, up, away, down, in, down, and then reset the pink. And so orange is in the correct space, green is in the correct space. Now looking at the remaining three, uh, these three will move, but that I'd have to do it twice. However, if I go in the other direction and offset the the white, the gray and yellow will go into the gray and yellow. The gray and blue will come forward. So these three will then all be in the correct spot. So go up, up, down, down, and then reset my yellow. So that's why I'm I'm, I'm affecting things only on the top, but I'm also um, but the, I'm using the formula B. So now everything is in the correct spot, but some of them need to be twisted. I'm going to do the same thing for the other three. Um, and then I'll, I'm go, I go step by step. Do I, I don't have a, I don't have a preference on, on cubes, Rubik's or, <laughs> I grew up on Rubik's before there was anything else. Um, but I, I'm not really versed with all the other ones. So, uh, there's three on top. If I line up the yellow, the only is the only one in place. If I line up the pink, the green is also in place. So that's good. So these two are lined up. So then these three, you want to bring the white yellow forward. So I offset the blue, 
<clears throat> formula B is up, up, down, down, and then reset. So everything is in its correct place, but some of them need to be some of them need to be uh, twisted. Okay. Uh, this one, everything is in the correct place. Some of them need to be flipped. Okay, this one. You wipe down. Uh, so if they line up the green, the pink is in the right place. So these three need to change. But uh, the orange wants to go to the back, so I'll flip it around. So I offset the blue. We're going to put the blue. These three are going to move up, up down, down, and then reset the blue. Everything is now in the right place. Some of them need to be flipped. Okay, uh, here we go. If I line up the yellow, then the pink is also in place. So two of them are in place, and the blue wants to come forward. So I'm going, these are the three that are going to move. I'll offset my left, my right, and then do formula B to place this down here. So it's slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down, and then reset. Okay, so everything is now in the correct place. Some of them want to be flipped. Only for the for the star tips, because I'm working on the stars right now, I'm ignoring everything else. And in so doing, I've displaced some of my uh, equator corners, and that's okay, because we'll, we'll get back to those. So, um, of the two that need to be flipped, the two that need to be flipped, of two or more, two or four that need to be flipped, uh, if they are next to each other, then they're easier to flip than if they're uh, opposite each other. So let's do this one. Uh, this one's correct, and so I, we've got these two to flip. Okay, so again, formula B is moving these three pieces. So I'm going to offset, I'm going to switch two, sw flip two at the same time. Another first time chatter. Hi, Sharky. Uh, bye, school bus. Uh, your favorite 3x3 three three is the GAN 365 magnetic. I love the, I love the GAN magnetic. I have a mirror GAN that I love. Um, again, if you have que specific questions about the cubes or about what I'm doing or what, what you want me to demonstrate, I'm happy to, to switch what I'm, change channels <laughs> midstream. Uh, but um, in the meantime, I've been doing I've been I've broken the minks down into several steps for this week, so that's what I've been working on. But if you have specific questions on how the AB cube method works on, on cubes, uh, I'm happy to stop and demonstrate. Uh, formula A is four moves, formula B is eight moves. Formula A brings a piece to the top and twists the corners, formula B moves three pieces around. And that's all you ever need to do in order to solve every complexity Rubik's cube, every complexity minx. So, um, so like I said, the, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, green is correct. I'm going to swap these two pieces. I'm going to flip, flip these two pieces. In order to do that, I'm going to use formula B. I'm going to do formula B twice. So I'm going to do formula B. I'm offsetting my blue so that these are the three pieces that are going to change. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Okay, and then reset. But the same layer that I, re that I offset and then reset, I'm going to also offset in the other direction. So I'm go that's going to move this piece back to where it was, and I'm going to do B. So I did B to the left, now I'm doing B to the right. Down, down. And the third piece uh, went bippity bop and back to where it started. So that had the effect, and then reset. That had the effect of switching these two. Okay, two more to flip, they're next to each other. Offset to the left. Formula B to the left, down, down, and then reset, continue it, go in the other direction, and B to the right, up, up, down, down, and then reset. So now, everything's still in the right place, but they're all flipped the, the correct way. So the star parts are all correct. Now I can ch work on the uh, corners, with that using for without you having to affect with leaving the star pieces the way they are because the star pieces like I said the star pieces affect the corners the corners don't necessarily affect the star pieces so this one is ready to go 
the stars are, are all correct on this one. Stars are aligned, people. Okay, so um, this one also has four to switch. I'll do two at a time. Offset my left. Lo uh, B to the left for edges. Down, down. Reset the left. Turn the cube around. Continue that that same split that same slice to offset to the right, and then B to the right. Up, up, down, down, and then reset my right. Okay, so that flipped these two. Now I'm going to flip these two. Offset the left. Formula B. Reset the left. Offset the right. B to the right. Up, up down, down, and then reset. Okay, so grays on top, everything, all the stars are all correct for these two. Uh, look for the, this one, the stars were all correct, but they, but I need to flip some of them. Uh, so the two that I need to flip are not side by side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these two, which will make this one right and this one wrong, and then I'm going to flip these two. Can I move to Zoom? I'm going to go stream for a while. Okay, Shar uh, all right, Sharky. Uh, school bus, can I move to Zoom? I can. It it's not set up right now. It takes me about 10 minutes to set up, so I need to know prior to my account to do that. Uh, if, I, if you want to do that, um, I can set it up to do that tomorrow, if you want to be back tomorrow. I just, I just have to set it up before I stream. I can't. It takes like 5, 10 minutes to set up. So I'll be happy to do that. Uh, I just need, uh, I will email me and I will send you an email with the Zoom link. Anyone who wants to Zoom with me, uh, same thing. I can, I can Zoom up to, with up to four people at a time. So I'll be happy to do that. Happy. Uh, so in the first I'm going to switch these two. So left, uh, offset the left, B to the left. down, down, and then up. Email. Um, you can see it. Uh, if you look at my bio on the dashboard, uh, if you look at my bio, you can find it, but it is abcube.how at gmail.com. abcube w at gmail.com. So up, and then I go down the other side, and B to the right. And then offset. So that flipped these two. Now I'm going to flip these two. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down, and reset. Continue. Offset the right, B to the right, up, up, down, down, and set. Okay. So all of the stars are correct for this one. Last one to do the stars correct. Um, these two are they're all everything's in the right place. Some of them need to flip. I'll flip two at a time. So I'm going to flip these two. Offset the left, B to the left, up, up, down, down. Reset my left and continue that same slice to offset the right and then B to the right. Up up, down, down, and then reset. Okay, so those are flipped. Now I'm going to flip these two. Slide, offset the left. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Reset, turn it around, offset the right, B to the right. And there we go. So these, okay, so I did, I, I was going layer by layer, and then I, I did my, I got, my stars are now correct. And it, we did off, we did uh, displace a couple of the uh, meridian corners. So that's where we're gonna place those next. And then we'll do, do this corners on top, okay? Um, so here's a blue. There's, I can, I can put, put it into here, corners, 
B for corners moves these three corners around. So if I want this, this one to go over here, uh, Formula B will do that. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Okay, it's in the right place, wants to be flipped. I'll get back to that. Um, this one has green, so it wants to land here. And there's two ways I can do that. I can, I can line it up above it. I can offset the gray to line it up above it, do a formula B to drop it down. Or I can you know, line it up this way, drop it this way. And then I'll reset my gray. Up, up, down, down. Okay, and then reset the gray. I usually, I'm, I'm, I'm in Utah, so right now it is 6.32. My, I Zoom on, my, on weekdays at 9 a.m. Week, and Saturdays, so 9 a.m. tomorrow. So if, I'm, if, you've, if we've communicated by 8.30 in the morning, uh, I can set it up so that we can, you, can be, you can help me demonstrate. Uh, what you'll need to do is you'll just need to have a cube that you want to, the cube that you have questions about or a cube that you want to use to help me demonstrate my method, we are going to be, I'm going to be walking you through uh, a solve. So whatever time it is for you right now, right now it's 6.33 for me. So, all right, so I'm looking for, okay, here's a red, here's a, this one's in the right place, but it wants to flip. Uh, this one, I'm going to move it, here's a yellow, it wants to come down here. I'm going to put it into place. Up, up, down, down. Okay, reset the, t the grays. All right, so this is in the correct place. This is not. This red wants to come down here. So I'm going to place it with B and then reset the gray. So up, up, down, down. Okay, reset the gray. So there's one, two, three, four, the correct ones here. This one wants to be twisted. So I'm going to put, put a, the, the one that wants to be twisted is going to be on the top face. I'm going to start by twisting this one. I will finish my, my six set out with this one. So I'm going to do formula A for this until it's the way I want it. And then I'll finish the six set with this one. So this one, these two are doing the ones that are going to twist. Because you can't twist just one. So up, down, in, up, that's one. Up, down, and up, that's two. Need to keep going. Up, down, and up, that's three. That's four. That looks the way I want it. Slide it out of the way. Keep my cube stable. Continue with this one. There's five. There's six. And the rest of the cube is untouched. Reset the top. And so the everything but the top layer is solved again. And this time, the, the star parts are correct. So all that's left now is the corners. So let me move on to do some other one to, to do that again for other ones. So who else is here today? All right. If you've just joined me, I'm Sunshine. <laughs> and I'm the creator of the AB cube method for solving Rubik's cubes, which this is. Formula A is four moves, formula B is eight moves. Uh, formula A brings a piece to the t a piece to the, from the front or the bottom to the top, and twists corners around. Formula B moves three pieces around, and um, that's all you need to do to solve every complexity cubes. Uh, if you B with the if you for B if you use the top row on the outside columns, you're moving corners, top row and uh, outside and inside column, you're moving edges to inside columns, and you're moving centers around. But it's still uh, slide the top still. Uh, one up, second, first up, second up, first down, second down. The top layer back and forth in between. So, I does not, it does, the, <laughs> this, the, you're in CST. So, uh, okay, so I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know my time zones. <laughs> so I don't know what time it is where you are. But, uh, this, we, this does not have a parity algorithm. This method does not have a parity algorithm because parodies are a lie. The, you can play with them all you want, but you don't have to. Uh, a parity is always caused by the center being a quarter turn off. If you find the layer, the, the center layer that touches your parity, and rotate that slice one quarter turn, and then solve your, your cube in that orientation, 
It's 11 a.m. where you are. Okay. Solve your cubic net orientation. Your parity, poof, disappears. All gone. So, this one, all everything is solved except for the last corners. This one, uh, the edge of stars are all correct. I'm going to start moving the the star the uh, pieces. Okay. So let's see if I can. I'm going to move this piece over to here. Wait. Yeah. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down, and that piece is in the correct spot. Reset the top. Looking for, so this one's correct. Uh, here's a green. Wants to come this way. So these three start, these three corners. Up, up. And if there's anyone else who wants to do a zoom, what I, what I do is I, I do the zoom and then I video capture from my Twitch onto the zoom. So you guys can see me on Twitch, and I can see you on Zoom, and then we can demonstrate. <laughs> demonstrate how it all works. Okay, so one, two, three, here's the purple. These three corners. So if anyone else wants to as well, let me know. Just drop me an email. Uh, and I will start set up tomorrow. I'll, I'll set it up tomorrow so we can do that, if you guys are want to follow through on that. Okay, so... Um, the yellow, I'm still looking for yellow, and here it is right here, okay, I've lined it up, it's going to come, if I move these three, we'll drop it into place, up, up, down, down, okay, and any of them need to be twisted, no, none of them need to be twisted, and the stars are still correct, so this one, uh, stars are correct. Top row corners is all that's left. Stars are correct. Top row corners is all that's left. For this one, uh, the stars are correct. Let's do the meridian again. Okay, so these three corners, top row, first column, second column. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. And that's in place. Reset the top. Okay, here's a blue wants to go here. I'm going to set it these three corners. I'm going to jump over there. Up, up, down, down. Reset the top. Okay. Here's a purple. Bring it above the purple. Drop it down by moving these three. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Okay. And then here's the green wants to land over here. Going to these are gonna these three are moved. This is, will jump over there. So up, up, down, down. Reset the top. Okay. So there's one corner, two corners, three corners, four corners, five corners. This corner stars are all correct. All that's left to do is the top row corners. Okay. Stars are correct. All that's left is the top row corners, and then this one. This one is the last one. So I've got to I've got to finish the um, the equator corners. There's a purple. It's gonna land here, so I'm gonna offset it, and then these three corners will move up, up, down, down. Okay. Uh, here's a blue. Come above the blue. Okay. And then these three corners will move up, up, down, down. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. So there's one, two. Okay, the yellow. Everything else is done. Just looking for the yellow. Uh, here it is. Bring it above. And then these three corners will drop it down. Up, up, down. Down. Okay. Reset the top. And all of these are correct. Um, I'll, if, if I set the corners, then these will be as done as this one is. This one has the stars correct, the centers correct. And if I do the corner, if get the corners on these, it'll be similar to this one. All that we left in will be the edge pieces. And so I can show you how to do those. That will probably be tomorrow. Or next time. Okay, so.
all that's left now is the gray corners. Okay, so I look to see if any of them are correct. Uh, this one is correct. This one's correct, but I, but I'm, I, it, it only helps me if they're side by side correct because B moves three consecutive. So this one's correct. Uh, this pink one wants to go over here. So I'm going to jump it. I'm going to jump it to here and then to here and then to here. So these three corners first. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So it went from here to here to here and now I need to bring it to here so I'm going to rotate it slightly and then these three corners to drop it into place here. Up, up, down, down. Okay, it's in the correct place. And are they all in the correct place? These ones need to be twisted. I'll do that with formula A. I'm going to finish my formula B's first. So this one's in the correct spot. Okay. Um, this one's in the correct spot as well, but this one wants to come over here. So I'd, if I'm going to keep this one, no, I'll keep this one stable. So the pink, the gray, pink, and green is over here. I'm going to jump it to here, and then to here, and then to here. So up, up, down, down, and now it's right here. And then once more to here, and then to here. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay, and now they're all in the correct place. Some of them need to be twisted. I'll do that with A after I've got my B's out of the way. Uh, this one's not correct, this one's not correct, this one's not correct, this one's in the correct spot. Okay, so the one that want, wants to be here is the blue and orange. Blue and orange is right here. So again, I'm going to jump it one, two, three times. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, and a twist. And then to drop this one here, up, up, down, down. Okay, so these two are in the correct spot. These three need to need to move. So formula B moves these three. Up, up, down, down. You notice I didn't take didn't take time to see if they needed to go clockwise or counterclockwise. Either once did it for them or twice will. So I don't it's easier for me to just do B once and then again if needed than it is for me to take time to look and see if I'm supposed to go clockwise or counterclockwise because of how my brain works. So these are all, stars are correct, uh, corners are all in the right place, to, some of them need to be flipped. This last one, one, two, three, four, five stars are, the corners are correct. Um, this is in the right place. This one wants to come around. So again, I'm going to hop it, hop it, hop it. Up, up. Down, down, up, up, down, down, and once more, up, up, down, down. Okay, so everything is in the correct place. No, it's not. These two are correct. These three still need to switch. So up, up, down, down, and once more, up, up down, down. Okay, now everything's in the correct place. Uh, to twist, we use formula A to twist. Uh, everything except for the top layer is, uh, is, al is always done in multiples of six. So I'm going to start with the bottom row, right column. This is the row and column I'm going to use. I'm going to start by twisting this one when it's the way I want it to be. I'll slide this out of the way and work on another cube that I can twist until they're all correctly placed. So it's going to be a multiple of six. So bottom row, right column, out, down, in, up, that, out, down, in, up. That one looks correct. Hold the cube stable, because I'm just going to keep using the same bottom, same row and column. So I'm going to push this out of the way to protect it. I'm going to continue with this one. Out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up. That's six, but uh, I'm going to 
so this one looks the way I want it to be. I'm going to push it out of the way. I'm going to keep going. Out, down. Okay, so that's 7. That's 8. That's 9. That's 10. You don't have to count because the cube knows. Slide that out of the way to protect it. Keep going with this one. 11 and 12. And every multiple of 6, the bottom is unaffected. So reset the top. And poof! This one's done. Yay! Okay, again, I'm gonna, gonna twist some corners around. Start with one that, the, in, the, in the top front right, bottom row right column, out, down, and up, that's one, out, down, and up, that's two. Okay, hold the cube stable, slide it out of the way. This one doesn't want to be flipped, this one doesn't want to be flipped, but this one can. So, out, down, and up, three, out, down, and up, four, out, down, and up five. Out, down, and up six. Graze on top on all of them. The rest of the cube is untouched. Set the top. Poof! That one's done too. <laughs> uh, one, two, two more. Two more, guys. Okay. Bottom row, right column. Out, down, and up one. Out, down, and up two. That's happy. Slide it out of the way to protect it. Continue with this one. Out, down, and up three. Out, down, and up four. Out, down, and up five. Out, down, and up six. Okay, the rest of the cube is untouched. Line up the top. And poof, that one's done too. One more, everything's in the correct space. All I need to do is twist. Out, down, and up. Out, down, and up. Slide out of the way. This one doesn't want to twist. This one doesn't want to twist, but this one can. So, three. Four, five, six. Rest of the cube is untouched. Red, set the top, and we're done. So these are all done, and this one has I've done the the white, I've done the white stars, the white centers, the uh, bold stars, the bold centers, and then I've done layer by layer up through above the gray side star tips. Okay, and the stars are all done corners are done, so all that's left here is for the edges to be done, and I can do those tomorrow. This is a good pausing place, unless anyone has any questions for me before I go, I will be back tomorrow, and I will check my email to see who wants to Zoom with me. I'm happy to do that for anyone who wants to help me demonstrate, or who wants to learn. So, do we have any questions or comments before, before I go feed my kitty cat? Alright you guys, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you and I will be back tomorrow morning and maybe we'll have some fun. Maybe we'll Zoom. We'll see. In the meantime, uh, go be nice to yourself and have fun. Bye.